Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm. Today's video is gonna be a little bit short unless I really, really ramble. But I thought of it uh, actually just a little while ago. I thought it'd be a fun video to make. We're going to talk about the three books that we use the most and I guess maybe you could call this our, our favorite book list too. Um, at two of the books I'd say that a lot of people have and use, one of them Maybe not so much, but uh, you can substitute it. Okay, so the first book I'm going to talk about that we've read, we really enjoy, and we recommend for you to read if you're into mostly uh, small farming, permaculture farming. I guess you, it could kind of go with uh, making money from home. And that is... Joel Salatin's You Can Farm. Joel Salatin is a permaculture farmer, and I guess the best way to describe permaculture is it's a way of farming or living uh, that goes with nature instead of against nature, if that makes sense. But he's a small farmer, and uh, in this book, he really lays out how a person and a family can actually make money on a small farm. One reason I really like this book compared to other ones I've read that talk about being an entrepreneur and having a small farm is that it's not boring. Uh, Joel really gets you excited. Uh, you get done reading this book and you want to go out and buy 30,000 chickens um, you know, to raise. He, he really gets you amped up and shows that it is doable. You can make money on a small farm. Most of that comes from limiting your debt and also uh, adding value to what, what you've raised. Um, for example, don't just um, milk goats and then sell the milk. Milk goats and then make an artisan cheese to sell. Uh, you can double or triple your money that way out of the milk you or out of the yeah out of the the money that you've put into your goats. Anyway, this is a great book. You can farm. Um, I I can't remember when I first read it. I was maybe a freshman in high school, maybe a little earlier. It's a really good book. If you're into small farming, you really enjoy it. I'm going to put links to all of these books down in the description. It'll be an Amazon link. I'm hoping I can get it to go through our uh, Amazon store. So if you buy it through this link, we get um, a little bit of that money. But uh, that's a great first book. The second book that we really like is Carla Emery's um, Encyclopedia for Country Living. This is uh, an older version, and back then it was called Old Fashioned Recipe Book. This is a book, if you've ever played the game with someone and they ask you if you're on a deserted island, what book would you want? This is that book. If you're into prepping, if you're into off-grid living, if you're into um, farming, homesteading, any of that, this is a great book. It has, it touches on everything when it comes to, to living out in the country. It's a great book, a, a huge resource, um, and actually Carla Emery's daughter, Esther, and her family have a YouTube channel. If you'd like to check that out, it's called Fouch Family Off Grid. I think they, they changed their name just a little while ago. It used to be Fouchomatic Off Grid. But this book, I mean, it literally has everything that you would want when it comes to um, living off grid. This is another one. Uh, this isn't, this wasn't my parents' book, but we had a version of this. And I read that thing cover to cover many, many times growing up. Uh, she has, she, Carla also has a great way of writing that pulls you in. It's really common sense the way she, she lays stuff out there, easy to understand. Um, it pulls you in too. She, I mean, she has a little bit of comedy and stuff in here, tells stories about growing up um, off-grid. This is a great book. I would say that this book is probably a must-have if you're a homesteader um, or maybe a prepper and off-gridder. This, this really will, this will get you through a lot. You know, if the world ended and all of a sudden we didn't have internet and power, um, this book will 
will make up for that. It'll, it'll help you figure stuff out. It's a great book. The last book we have is one that can kind of be replaced. It's not just this book, but um, it's How to Cook Everything. If you're on a farm, if you're homesteading, you're growing all kinds of food, you're raising all kinds of animals, um, a lot of a lot of what homesteading is, is, is preparing your own food. Not buying processed food, not buying a lot of prepackaged food. We still do buy some of that, um, but a lot of it is about cooking your own food, making your own food. And it's nice to have a book that tells you and helps you cook just about everything. I mean, we still look up recipes on the internet for sure. Uh, a paper book isn't literally going to have everything. But uh, this is a great book. Laura does most of our cooking, uh, and she she uses this, this book a lot. The few the few times that I cook, I use it too. Um, the one that we have is How to Cook Everything by Mark Bittman. Um, there's a lot of cookbooks out there that are kind of titled the same way. The recipes in here are really easy. You're not going to find a lot of strange um, ingredients, stuff that's it's very easy to follow. And uh, and so when you're, I think, when you're living the homestead lifestyle, you're trying to cook a lot of your own stuff. Maybe it's stuff that you haven't cooked before, you know. I'd say in the past, the vegetables and the fruit and the meat that we've that we've had, the grains and all that has been kind of limited because you go to the grocery store, you pick out your, your same 10 things in your cart and that's what you always eat. When you're growing it yourself, there's gonna be a lot of different vegetables. You, you can't just grow carrots and broccoli all year round. So you're gonna have a bunch of different kinds of vegetables and fruits that maybe you're not used to um, cooking with and it's a different style of cooking when you're, uh, it can be when you're homesteading or you're off grid. And so it's great to have a book like this that can kind of help step you through until you figure stuff out and can tweak recipes yourself. So those are three books that we, we've really used a lot. We enjoy reading and rereading. Uh, they're great. <sighs> My battery died. Anyway, I'm going to put links down in the description. Maybe you can share with us a book that you really like for living off-grid or homesteading or having a small farm. Um, but these are books that we have. The first, those first two, uh, Carla Emery's Encyclopedia of Country Living and Joel Salatin's You Can Farm book are pretty popular. A lot of people like those. But I'll leave, I'll leave that all in the description. Um, I think that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.